Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and um, in today's video I'm talking about why City Skylines absolutely sucks on console and why City Skylines really need to fix this game. Don't get me wrong, I love the game but they just haven't really done a good enough job with the console version. So at number one is map design. Now the map designs on the console version, well all versions but mostly console it is horrible like on PC you can get mods where you know or whatever workshop stuff where people have made absolutely amazing maps but on console it's just horrible the map designs are so horrible like train lines and boat lines are on completely different side of the maps and in order to get train lines and boat lines you have to do like a zigzag tile thing and I, 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 I don't want to make a zigzag city, I, you know, I want to make like a nice city with villages scattered around and historical things, but I can't do that because it's not big enough, and if I wanted to make a good map, I literally have to sit down and terraform it for at least like a good three to four hours until I'm happy with it, but it takes forever because the brush, the brush size is tiny, and to make mountains, it's just... It takes forever because it the brush size is just so tiny. Like, what what is up with that? At number two is mods. Now we're never playing on console, but if a few other games on console have mods, why doesn't City Skylines like the Move It Mod Traffic Manager, um, Twenty Five Tiles, and a few others wouldn't make the game laggy at all? You know, so why doesn't City Skylines have mods? At number three is placeable buildings. So. The only reason I want this in, because if I'm trying to build, like, let's say, like, an old town and an old abandoned town, or just, like, a nice modern skyline, I can't do that, because if I want to build a nice modern skyline, I'm going to have to keep deleting the building until I get the one that I like. And if I want to make, like, an old town, I'm going to have to place the buildings that are let's say like low residential until they get the right one like it would just be so much quicker if we could just place down the buildings that we would like like i don't get why that wasn't even in the game in the first place it makes no sense at all so here's an example of really really bad map design and so to be honest i don't mind this map but it's just the way it's just how many tiles we have if if we had 25 tiles i could make nice tourist attractions beaches and stuff but no i'm restricted to this if, if i want to get train lines and boat lines well i'm gonna have to do weird shapes like wh what am i supposed to put in this one tile like i know this is a pretty mean comparison but having nine tiles is like being on sim city with one tile it like nine tiles is just not enough it's nowhere near good enough you know we have to build on console cities that are so compact when some people want to build one massive city but we can't uh, one, one massive city sorry and do little dotted villages around let's say like over there over there and maybe all the way down that corner like a small village in the trees maybe but we can't because we're only because re we're restricted to nine tiles which is barely enough like come on like it is just ridiculously ridiculously stupid the nine tiles and we need map ed editor too so we can place water sources highway entrances and exits build our own maps properly you know make little make little rivers and stuff but we can't because we're on console but what's the difference between making a map and terraforming a map you know by terraforming a map we could be using up more room than making a whole new map so I don't at City Skylines I don't really get get this whole oh you're only allowed nine tiles even though it's not even though it's barely enough to build. You know what? It's not enough to build a good city.